This is free range hens. They, they get chucked in a blender alive. This is, this is those eggs there that you've got there. This is what you just bought. You just paid for that to happen. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So I uploaded a video on Thursday from an action I did with animal rights activists in Sydney about a month ago in Australia, a little bit over a month, I think. And the Daily Mail picked it up. So what what is the Daily Mail without a militant vegan headline? I mean, they must have wanted a break from, from reporting on the coronavirus and they've decided to report on militant vegans, as they like to do. They probably like reporting on this because it drives um, traffic to their page. You know, people like that controversy and uh, something about the militant vegan must offer a lot of um, traffic to their advertising on their page. But Daily Mail hasn't had a reputation from being, for being a reputable, you know, journalist source, but let's just go through it anyway. Interesting here, look, militant vegan activist storms coals and bombards customers with animal abuse videos in, attempt, in an attempt to stop them buying meat and eggs. Pretty true. That's exactly what we were doing there at the, sh at the shops. So no problems there. Let's, let's keep re responding to this here. A militant vegan activist has accused coal shoppers of animal abuse during a confronting demonstration in the meat section. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So Joey Carbstrong stormed the Coles supermarket in Chatswood, Westfield, in Sydney's Lower North Shore, with a handful of activists in tow. The protesters, who were dressed in black, carried TV screens displaying the slaughtering of animals at ab abattoirs across the country. In video footage shared to Mr. Carbstrong's YouTube account on Thursday, the vegan activists pointed at the screens and slammed shoppers for buying meat and eggs and dairy products. Exactly. No problems there with what they're saying. This is strangely a very factual article so far a factual article it's this is very strange it's very strange for uh daily mail here here we go this is this is the action that we did if you haven't seen the action that the it's on my youtube channel here so they've basically given my they've basically given my youtube channel a shout out on their article which wait that's good that is good they come to my channel what is it animal rights content animal rights content and then they've quoted me they've gone on to quote exactly what i've said to those people in that supermarket, to the people who watched my video, now to a larger audience, which I don't know how big the, the Daily Mail Australia's audience is, their, their online audience, could be in the millions a month, uh, not sure. Look at this dairy cow being tortured and killed for milk. How horrific, he said in front of the checkouts. Wow. One of the TV screens played footage of male chicks being chucked in a blender. In quotations, wow, they're doing vegan advocacy for me to their their viewers, to their to their readership. Thanks, Daily Mail. Thank you very much, Daily Mail. Mr. Carbstrong told a shopper watching the screen, if you're paying for that, you're paying for animal abuse. One plus one equals two. If you pay for eggs and male chicks are being chucked in a blender, then you're paying for animals to be abused. If you pay for meat, dairy, you're paying for animals to be exploited and abused and killed. Very simple. Thanks, Daily Mail. Now, this is what I said to the lady in front of the screens uh, where the male chicks were being macerated. She had a carton of eggs in her trolley. I said, you've got to be a vegan unless you like to torture animals for eggs. There is nothing false in that statement at all. That is completely true. You have to be a vegan unless you like to torture animals for eggs. Most people don't. Most people don't. This is a very blunt, direct, and true statement. So, so far, no problems here with this article. The, the activists continued to speak at shoppers as they walked past, telling them they must adopt a vegan diet to avoid being an animal abuser. This is exactly what I was doing. People are paying for animals to be abused. Without the people, animals aren't going into slaughterhouse or being mass bred, being mutilated, being having their teeth clipped, having their tails snipped, having being smacked on the ground like they do in piggeries with piglets that aren't growing fast enough, having their head, you know, bashed in with a hammer like they do on dairy farms or shooting bobby calves in the head or raping dairy cows or skinning animals while they haven't been stunned correctly and throwing pigs in gas chambers. They're only doing that to animals because consumers pay for the product. So it's like, I'm calling a spade a spade here. I'm saying, look, if you care about animal abuse, if you care about the implications of your actions, then you've got to be a vegan. Otherwise, you're paying for animal abuse, which makes you an animal abuser. Okay, 
So why didn't Coles tell us they sold tortured animal bodies? So here they've quoted me again. Why didn't Coles tell us they sold tortured animal bodies? He questioned. Yeah. Why didn't Coles tell you? So what I'm doing is I'm like, well, they're like Coles and butchers are selling you tortured animals under the guise of some humane slaughter or under the guise of some welfare farm. When really they're lying to you. They're lying to you. Why didn't Coles tell you that you're actually eating the tortured, suffered body of a dead animal? I mean, it's quite obvious when you look at meat, but when you look at eggs and dairy, it might not be as obvious. You know, we're coming there with the truth. The, what, what the point is, is that the farms and the abattoirs and, you know, supermarkets, you know, they're not going to tell you the truth. The dairy industry is not going to tell you the truth. The pork industry is not going to tell you the truth. Chicken industry, fishing industry, they're not going to show you slaughter footage. We are. So here they just go on to show a couple of clips of what we're doing. Me pointing at the eggs, um, you know, us all standing there at, you know, the, the checkouts here talking to people. Great little activist event here, Truth Walkers. Great little activist group here in Sydney. The group were eventually told to leave by the store by Westfield staff who said police had been called. Mr. Carbstrong again berated shoppers on his way out the store. Animals are being abused and killed so you can eat their flesh. It's disgusting, he said. While walking past the milk, Mr. Carbstrong said shoppers should get out the dairy aisle because it's disgusting. That's exactly what I said. So they haven't manipulated what I've said or anything. I think they just think like that what I said might feel so outrageous that they don't need to change anything or they've just you know decided to be factual for once but this is exactly true the dairy aisle is disgusting that breast milk was taken out of another animal the, the breast milk was for their young you know and human beings are coming along and drinking they're, ba they're basically breastfeeding they're breastfeeding off an animal. It's disgusting. And but what what I'm saying it's disgusting more more so about not not the fact that it's just weird to drink breast milk from another animal. The cruelty is what's disgusting. The abuse that goes on on these farms is disgusting and the slaughterhouses are disgusting. The rape of the cows is disgusting. The baby stealing that goes on is disgusting. All standard practice across the board. The activists then, then lined up in front of a Ben and Jerry store. People pay for dairy products. They're paying for the worst animal abuse on earth. Another quote, another quote of mine that I stand behind. People pay for dairy products. They're paying for the worst animal abuse on earth. A true, sta this is another true statement. These are true statements. So whether you like it or not, whether you think, oh, this is too much or not, it doesn't matter. The truth is harsh. The truth is harsh. So the Daily Mail readers who are reading this, they can, they can try to, well, what, well, they can try to argue with it. But if they look into it, they'll see that what I'm saying is true. No matter how you feel, you might be angered. Well, the angrier, the better, because I'm angry too. You should be angry as well. So then they've got me just talking to the West Food staff, us out the front of uh, Ben & Jerry's store. The Ben & Jerry's store owner advised Mr. Carbstrong their dairy was not from Australia, but was sustainable in quotations, <laughs> the, what do they put sustainable in quotations for? Because do they know that dairy is not sustainable? <laughs> Obviously, it's completely not. And, you know, the dairy cow's lives aren't sustainable because they're murdered at five, six years old. Uh, and bobby calves are killed sometimes on their first, first day of life or first week of life. Their dairy was not from Australia, but was sustainable and sourced from Vermont. I don't care where it's sourced from. All those dairy cows are going to the slaughterhouse. They're all being raped and they're all having their babies taken from them. And they're being mutilated, dehorned, held down in a rape rack and raped with an arm in their anus and injected with bull semen. That is what dairy industry does, standard practice, to impregnate cows. Don't believe me? Look it up yourself. A disclaimer on this is where This is where they really really did my job for me, <clears throat> which I'm really happy about this, <clears throat> which is why for the Daily Mail, I'm actually not, not displeased with this. I, I personally think that this is good. I think that this is good. Um, listen to this. A disclaimer on the YouTube video urged viewers to ask themselves a question if they found this protest too extreme, aggressive, or forceful. What's more extreme, aggressive, or forceful? The disclaimer read. Forcefully breeding billions of animals for the sole purpose of forcing a knife into their necks and forcing them to die? Or asking people to stop paying for it to happen? I also want you to ask yourself this. How quiet would you want us to be if you were the victim? 
Daily Mail Australia, I'm, I don't have anything else to say, but thank you. Thank you for, you know, not focusing on, you know, my past history, you know, like some uh, articles do, you know, my, my character, they call me militant vegan. But I guess that's a matter of perspective. I mean, that's a matter of, you know, opinion. Is anything I've said here not true? Like, is anything I've said here not true? I don't know, I'll leave it to you in the comment section. But the, listen to this. The Daily Mail Australia has contacted Coles and Ben and Jerry's for a comment. Wow. They contacted Coles and Ben and Jerry's for a comment. How interesting. How interesting is that? Imagine if Ben and Jerry's come out and go, well, uh, about the cows being slaughtered, uh, you know, they're slaughtered humanely or something like, Ben and Jerry's, come on. You've got, they know they can make vegan ice cream. They know they can. They know dairy is not sustainable. It's not sustainable, you know, and I don't care about whether or not sustainable in the eyes of what happens to the animals because it's a rights violation. It's a justice issue. It's horrific abuse, exploitation, and cruelty. It's really disturbing and perverted, like beyond comprehension what happens to dairy cows, the suffering that these mothers go through, the anguish and pain these animals feel up until their death, their merciless slaughter, their merciless killing in the blood-soaked slaughterhouse kill floor, cut across the throat and shot in the skull. Like, it's horrible. Why are we still talking about how horrible this is without people changing? Like, and this article here, this article here, I think it's, I think it's overall good. I think it's overall good because people see this, boom, wow, what is he talking about? Like, this is outrageous. This is outrageous. This guy's saying that if you're not vegan, you abuse animals. This is outrageous. Why didn't Coles tell us they sold tortured animal bodies? What? What are they talking about? What is he talking about, tortured animal bodies? We have footage. We have evidence. This is factual. People who pay for dairy products, they're paying for the worst animal abuse on earth. This is true. This is true. Just by sheer numbers, the, the dairy industry and the, oh, the, the pork industry, the chicken industry, these, these industries commit the most atrocious crimes against animals that you can imagine. They should be illegal. People who you know, run these industries should be sent to jail, should be sent to prison for the horrible crimes against animals they commit. Human beings as a race are going to look back at this and go, what have we done? What did we do? What did they do to deserve the wrath we hurl on them so we can drink the milk out of their udders and eat, dine on their flesh, drink their blood? Drinking the blood of innocent animals suffered and died in a slaughterhouse. What's more, sa what's more satanic and, you know, more of a death cult than that? I th the, the unaware public, like... Just your average person, you know, a lot of them, good-hearted people, not all, not all of them, a lot of them, good-hearted people, drinking the blood and flesh of innocent victims, that flesh contains blood, blood of a scared animal, <laughs> and a good person, like, you know, think of a good person, like the, a, a nice grandma, or, you know, they have grandchildren, and they're sitting around the hacked-off leg of a baby lamb, and you don't see that, you don't see that because they've lied to you. The industries have lied to you constantly. The education system lied to you. Protein, all this nonsense. You're dining on the corpse of an innocent victim. Think about it, please. So again, <clears throat> me and the Daily Mail have some history. Obviously, Daily Mail have made a lot of articles about me. If you've been following me for a while, just look up Daily Mail, Joey Carbstrong. Um, I'm quite happy with this one, I'm going to say, that they've done my advocacy for me. They've put up every single quote I said in that video. That The idea of these activist events, these particular ones, they're supposed to be direct. They're supposed to, you know, create a disturbance. They're supposed to create media. That's what these events do. That is what these events do. Because look, look at the knock-on effect of this event. Look at the knock-on effect of it. It's got, I don't know how many people this article can reach, a lot, a lot, and um, a lot of people are going to be exposed to the message, a very direct message in this way, and I, I can't see anything bad about this. This this is how we move things forward, this is how we move things forward. I used to be a, a, a bit of a critic of um, DXC and direct action type events. I did, You know why? You know why I was a critic of it? Because I didn't understand it. I didn't 
I didn't actually understand it. And it feels uncomfortable. It feels like, wow, this is an uncomfortable situation. Look at me t telling this lady, you know, get out of the dairy aisle. It's disgusting. You don't understand how this affects social change, this type of, th this type of um, direct action activism. It really is. It really is a powerful part of what we do. And uh, I just want to thank Animal Rights Activism Sydney for setting this, this action up. Um, fantastic work. It really is. It's a real creative way of bringing, you know, the reality of what happens to these animals straight to the consumer right when they're about to make that choice. Right when they're about to make that choice. But yeah. Thanks again, Daily Mail. Don't ever think I'd... I didn't think I'd ever say that, hey, thanks again, Daily Mail, but... What do you guys think in the comment section? I mean, a, a lot of people don't agree with the way that I did this and the way that we did this. A lot of people don't agree, but come on. Come on, they're quoting me to their audience. They're quoting very direct one-liners to their audience. That, that, you don't think that stays in people's minds? You don't think that's going to make them feel something about this issue? You know, if I, if I went in there with a bunch of flowers, you know giving everyone a flower saying, live and let live, you know, I'm going to do me, you do you. Do you think that's going to shake the system up, create the change we need? Very interesting revelations about this type of activism. Very interesting indeed. Thank you all for your support. Um, if you don't like me, I hope you just take the message on seriously anyway. Um, if you don't like me as an activist, you think I'm too much, plenty of other amazing, um, more peaceful activists out there you can go follow and they'll tell you exactly the same thing I'm telling you but in a nicer way. So you can go follow them. This is Australian free range egg farming. This is a hatchery. The males don't lay eggs so they get macerated. The egg industry don't show you that here on the packet. See? And they get turned into dog food. That's how we treat babies for eggs in Australia. Well we don't, we're vegan. But if, you're, if you paid for that, you're paying for animal abuse.